Prayer for Trusting God in Hard Times by Debbie Prybolski As a child of God, you ought to expect God to answer your prayers. Do you ask God to do something without trusting your life to what you are praying? If you are praying for war revival, how are you preparing for its coming? If you are praying for forgiveness, are you still living with guilt? If you have asked God, To provide for your needs, do you remain worried and anxious? Ask God to increase your faith and then begin living a life that reflects absolute trust in Him. Henry Blackaby We all want God to answer our prayers. We believe in the power of prayer. But when it comes down to our own individual lives and our own problems, we often don't have the faith to believe God will answer. The times we are living in are difficult. We are often trapped by our unbelief and fear. But God is preparing us for the end-time harvest. He wants to enlarge our territory. He wants to bless us with increase. Because His nature is to care and bestow divine favor on us. We are the ones who limit Him because of our lack of trust and our fear of stepping out in faith. The truth is that the things we do for God should be outside of our own ability and should be trusting in His supernatural ability. When we back away from dependence and trust in God, we are not living by faith. He wants us to trust and obey His word. He wants us to be strong and courageous. We need to be willing to attempt things big enough that unless God steps in, we are sure to fail. This is the kind of trust and dependence He is looking for our life. We need to be shaken. He can break through every obstacle. He is the God of the impossible. Let us pray. Lord, I thank you that you are the God of the impossible. You can do anything. And I want to trust in your ability and not my own. Teach me to see difficulties in my life from your perspective. Help me to focus on you and your power. And I want to be like Joshua and Caleb, who believe in a good report and focused on you even in hard circumstances. My responsibility is to carefully read, trust, and obey your word. Today, I bring before you this difficulty in my life. Help me not to fear, but to trust you in this situation. And I declare my faith in your ability to fulfill your promises to me. You will fight for me and win the battles in my life. You are mighty, powerful, and righteous and true. I have nothing to fear with you on my side. I will be strong and courageous even in hard times, and I will not be terrified or discouraged. For the Lord my God will be with me wherever I go. Joshua 1.9 You will never leave me or forsake me. Joshua 1.5 I do not need to figure out everything out. You already know the best plan for me, Lord. And I will not try any man-made method to do only what you can do. Show me your supernatural power. Teach me how to walk by faith and pray breakthrough prayers. I choose to have faith in your ability to break through every obstacle in my life, just like Joshua. You will give me the land and every place where my feet step. Joshua 1.3 Through you, we push back our enemies. Through your name, we trample our foes. I do not trust in my bow, and my sword does not bring me victory. But you give us a victory over our enemies. You put our adversaries to shame. In God, we make our boast all day long, and we will praise your name forever. Psalm 44, verses 5 to 8. Lord, you assign me my my portion and my cup. You have made my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in the pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance, and I will praise the Lord. Who counsels me even at night, my heart instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me. Because He is at my right hand, I I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure. Because you will not abandon me to the grave, nor will you let your Holy One see decay. 
You have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with the joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Psalm 16, verses 5 to 11. In Jesus' name, amen. Faith does the impossible because it lets God undertake for us and nothing is impossible for God. How great without qualification or limitation. The power of faith is, if doubt can be banished from the heart and unbelief is made a stranger there, what we ask from God will surely come to pass. Prayer throws faith in God in God and the world. Only God can move mountains and faith prayer can move also God.